poor admission. It's a pretty basic admission in a suit about defamation that requires uh, plaintiffs, the people suing him, to prove that he made a false statement that he knew was false that hurt the plaintiffs in some way. He has admitted that. Now, now, I guess a couple of things he could be doing is, number one, trying to limit the damages that he may pay down the road because of the fact that he's admitted some measure of responsibility. Uh, or he may try to get that statement kept out of future cases, but even that seems thin, too. So it's, it, it is, and your question references, well, it's, it's a little bit of a perplexing move here. Um, and we'll, we'll just have to see where he goes with it, to be honest. Let me get Norm's thoughts on this, Norm. Just how much are the walls closing in on Giuliani right now? Uh, he's facing serious peril in this defamation case, Wolf. And we've talked together about some of the other defamation cases that have been tremendously damaging, like the Dominion case. These two um, uh, election officials, uh, Ms. Freeman, Ms. Moss, uh, uh, suffered tremendous emotional harm, leaving their homes, uh, a great deal of disruption in their lives. Giuliani says he's going to fight damages, but they may have very substantial damages that they can collect against him. He claims he has constitutional defenses, but that's not going to stop, uh, I think, the legal peril that he faces here. He has no constitutional right to say these kinds of things, very likely so. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I suspect.